We are in London in uh, Club 41 with Duccio Zambrini, who is uh, an Italian organizer of uh, events, of very important events here in uh, London. You have worked for about uh, 15 years in the financial sector, so you had the opportunity to know many prominent uh, people here in uh, London. And uh, then uh, you uh, change your activity, and uh, now uh, it's about uh, four years you have uh, founded this uh, uh, website, duccozambrini.com, uh, uh, which is uh, also a company, a limited company. And uh, now let's talk about this activity. But these uh, four years have been very, very intense. It's been a long journey, yes, it's been a long journey. Um, today we do two types of events. We do events like tonight fashion shows or any type of event for people to get together to to have a good time um, to socialize as well to mix and mingle and normally we host them on a friday or on a saturday and then during the week we go one event which is normally it's held at the members club home house which is designed for um, people to build business connection or connection which are relevant to their uh, career uh, overall, uh, every year we produce more than 100 events. Why did you change uh, activity from financial sector to this? Why and also why you died it the wrong way? Because not normally what happens is that many people, you know, start doing events, promotion, and then they get what mom would say is a good job in the city and they stick to that. I've done the opposite. I had a good job from my early days and then I moved into events. Um, it, it, and it was not something that I planned. Uh, I've always had, you know, f friends and connection, and I was quite sociable. And I used to go to events that other people were organizing. And um, and then I, for reasons that really were not planned, I, I had friends asking me to come to the other events and so on. And I saw there was a possibility, an opportunity to, to launch a, a business. That was in uh, 2011, and social media were very different from the way they are today. And uh, I think we found a niche, a way to exploit, to leverage social media like Facebook, like LinkedIn, to promote our events. So I decided to leave the corporate life and uh, start doing something which, uh, as we say in English, was more for the lifestyle. So no more uh, waking up six, six o'clock in the morning, taking the train, even in winter when it's cold, going to the office, stay in the office and so on, but a different life where you can uh, run your time and also follow your dreams, your intuition, and your your passion. I think in uh, in life, if you if you can, uh, you know, do what you really love and make your your passion your job, you are you are truly blessed. And uh, I must say, it's been uh, a, a roller coaster, uh, ups and downs. But um, I wouldn't come back because uh, there is something that really keeps you doing what you're doing, apart from the end of thing that come out when we do fashion shows like tonight, which are beautiful to see and so on. But it's the it's the idea of following your dreams, which uh, has got a huge uh, value, I think. How is the fashion industry evolving in, uh, in, si in a city like uh, London, which is uh, ever more uh, multicultural? I think the, the, the major uh, change um, which definitely is happening more here than other cities um, in Europe and probably uh, USA is the same, but it's the, the digitalization of the industry. So the fact that more and more and more brands nowadays that they, they launch their own application for smartphones, uh, more and more platforms now uh, are available on, uh, on smartphones for the consumer to choose between different designers and to shop online. So the direction has been going into the digitalization and we move away from shopping and looking at the windows in the, in the high street to looking to our iPhone and looking at the merchants online. And then the other thing is along the, the obviously the, the, the biggest digitalization, uh, new trends where uh, applications come out and they, they, they use the, the social media so you can share on, on Facebook or other social media what you're wearing, what you like, uh, the designs you like and so on. So fashion is becoming more interactive in a way like many other things in the, in the new economy which is the, the sharing economy. It's, it's becoming more of a, 
of an activity if you want as well for, for many people so um, the other this is also reflected in the, in the in the shows we do um, I think there are more more fashion shows happening today than they were happening four or five years ago because more designers now thanks to the digitalization, digitalization they can actually find a channel to to distribute their own products and they also um, London in particular is, uh, is, has got many many good universities for fashion so there's always a new uh, kind of flow of people coming out um, so the, the the changes are driven by the digital uh, applications and then they get reflected in, into the real life with more and more fashion shows like tonight thank you very much pleasure thank you thanks for having me thank you